Hi, this is Dr. Casorla from the English Department at GSU, and I'm going to teach you how to do MLA formatting in Google Docs. So the first thing is you should have downloaded the Gutfeld analysis from the assignment sheet. If you have not yet done so, please stop this recording and start it back up with, uh, with me once you've done that. Okay, I'm going to grab my uh, Gutfeld analysis from my desktop. Um, but first I have to go into Google Drive. So I'm going to click on this nine box array right here in my Google. Um, I'm going to go to Drive. Then I'm going to go to New, File Upload. I'm going to go to my Fixed Gut Field Analysis and hit Open. So now it's uploading my Fixed Gut Field Analysis. It just finished. I'm going to click on it and it will upload it as a Google Doc, not as an MS Word document. Okay, so we're halfway there. Yay! And over here you're going to see the directions load. Okay, perfect. So this says replace this heading with 24 point bold centered gut field analysis. So I'm going to get rid of ideology here and I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to go to heading one and make it 24 point and center it. Okay, that's done, so I'm going to click on the little thing. There we go. Now, um, eliminate this and enter header Keith M with a page number right along. So I'm going to highlight Keith M, and I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to just get rid of all of this. All right. Now, uh, first I want to get into the heading. So I'm going to go to Format and... I'm going to go to headers and footers. Um, and click on apply, and then I'm going to click up here so that I'm in the header. Just double click, right? Um, now I'm going to go to format again, page numbers, and I do not want to show my page numbers on the first page. Um, you'll find out why later. So I'm just going to click off on the show first page, okay? I am going to start at one, so even if it doesn't show it on the first page, the second page, it'll show it and it'll be two. So I'll just start that at one, and I'm going to hit apply. So um, what's going to happen is I should have the page number... Oh, it's not here. It's not supposed to be on the first page. <laughs> there I was looking for it. Here's the two, and um, I'm going to move it over to the right side, right align it, and then my cursor is right there in front of the two, which is very convenient. I'm going to hold down the control button, or if you have a Mac, a command button, and hit V for victory. And there's my Keith M, and I'm going to put a space. And just to make sure that it's not just appearing here on page two, I'm going to go down here and look. Yep, there it is on page three. Woohoo! And it's not on page one. Perfect. Okay, so now I want to get rid of this. Keith M thing, okay, and it says make a heading, oh, I guess I already got rid of it, uh, make a heading, um, heading two, bold 14 point left aligned. So this introduction should be heading two. It should be 14 point and bold, and it's left aligned. Perfect, it's already done. Done. All right, next, this is the hard one. Insert a picture of Greg Gutfeld. Align it to the right and put a caption that reads, Greg Gutfeld, align the picture with the first line of the paragraph. Now, I'm going to highlight Greg Gutfeld because I don't want to respell it. Copy it. I'm going to insert an image from the web. Okay, and paste. I'm going to get one that he's kind of looking over to the left. It'll look better. There's one. And after I paste this, it's going to appear ginormous. Yes, there's a giant Greg Gutfeld who could, skill to, could scare children. Um, so I'm going to click on the picture really quick. I have these little beads. Um, I don't want to take it, uh, take the picture down from here to make it short and fat or take it from the side and make it tall and skinny. What I want to do is keep the aspect ratio, which is the ratio of width to height by going from the corner and 
theoretically towards his nose, although I can't see his nose right now. Here, there we go. Start here, and towards his nose again, until he's about the size that I want him. That's good. And then I don't want him in line, which is where he is now. I want him to be in the wrap text. So click, and then I'm going to move him to the right and make sure that he's all lined up with the first line. Right? Now, I also want to put a caption. This is the hard part. So I'm going to click off the picture because it won't work if you clicked on the picture, okay? So I'm just anywhere and I'm going to go to insert drawing and I'm going to go to new. Now, this is where they've hidden the text box. <laughs> so I'm going to click text box, make a small text box. I'm going to type, well actually I'm not going to type, I'm going to hit control V or if you have a Mac command V um, and paste that Greg Gottfeld that we had from before. Make it a little bit wider so that the Greg Gottfeld will appear about that, okay. And um, size to fit text. Um, All right, and I'm going to take this and save and close. All right, so here it is. And it won't let me move it until I click on wrap text. Now I can move it right under the gut felt. Now I want to make sure that this is centered, and so I'm going to go over here. Hmm, how do I get my... <laughs> okay, oh yes, I can just click anywhere. See, that makes sense. No, I don't want to do that. Control Z. And I want to click on this, and it's not going to let me do it. Okay, I'm just going to move it up here. Just move it over. Okay, there we go. Um, I can make this smaller. I'm still going to have it in this weird place, which is really annoying, but um, that's okay. I'll just move it over. Okay, so it's going to mess with my, um, with all of my layout over here, um, but I do have it in here. It's done. <laughs> And I've got it captioned, so I'm just going to pretend like that's okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Next thing we're going to do, let me get rid of that. Oh, it's I already got rid of it. Okay. We're going to hyperlink to the Red Eye website. Okay. So Fox News program Red Eye no longer exists in the world. So we're just going to highlight this. Um, and we're going to go open a tab, paste it. And it says Fox News Program Red Eye. And we're going to pull up a Wikipedia page because it no longer exists in the world, real world. So it's still in Wikipedia. I'm going to highlight this URL. Okay, I'm going to go back to Greg Gutfeld. And I'm just going to highlight Red Eye like that. I'm going to hold down Control or if you have a Mac command and hit K. Okay. And what that's going to do is open up a place for me to paste it. Um, that URL, and now it is hyperlinked. Now, what's really cool is if I click on this, I'll go to that Wikipedia page. All right. Now, what's really handy about this is you can use it with your resume, as you can use it with letters of application. So let's say, for example, that I am applying um, for a sports program, and I have an amazing clip on YouTube of me doing this goal in soccer, and I want to let the people see it who are reading my application letter. So what I can do is I can do this highlighting, this hyperlinking, and I can hyperlink to the YouTube um, of me making that goal. And then when they're reading my letter of application, they can click on it and actually see me doing it. So it's a really cool tool to use in resumes, applications, all kinds of stuff. It's really great. So I'm using it here, and I want you to practice it because I really, really want you to know how to do it. So I've got it five times in here, okay? So <laughs> the next one is Fox News Program, The Five. So I'm going to highlight that. 
copy it. I'm going to go up here, um, Control V or Command V if you have a Mac. Okay, I'm going to open up that file and copy it. Okay, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to just highlight the five. Control or Command if you have a Mac. Okay. Okay, Control V, Enter. There we go. I'm going to go to Breitbart. Copy that. Go back here. Control V, Control, I mean, Control K, sorry, Control V, Enter. Next one, the American Spectator. Open it up. Get that URL. Go back here, Control K, Control V, and Enter. And the last one, which is Men's Health Magazine. And make sure you get Men's Health Magazine, the whole thing. Don't just have Men's Health because you will get everything. I mean, everything if you put in Men's Health. <laughs> okay, copy. Um, now, this is an ad, so I'm going to go below, below the ad to the Men's Health, Fitness, Nutrition, Health, etc. And here it is. Copy. Control K, Control V, and Enter. Okay. All right. We have all those done. So I'm going to go up here and just check them off. Click, click. Make sure Greg read for that other two. All right. Now it says eliminate all the extra spaces after the paragraph throughout the document. The document should be consistently double-spaced. This is really important. A couple years ago, um, MS Word changed the default so that there's spaces between paragraphs. And Google Docs did the same thing, which immediately meant that every English professor in the entire United States went completely bonkers because that is not MLA style, and we hate it. So make sure that you get rid of those extra spaces between paragraphs. This is how you're going to do it. Click anywhere on the document, anywhere, it doesn't matter where. Then you're going to hold down the control button or the command if you have a Mac and hit A as in Apple. So everything's highlighted. Okay, got it? All right, now we're going to go to, to um, this little thing here that, that is the um, paragraph spacing. And we're going to go to double. Now we're going to go back to paragraph spacing and we're going to remove space after paragraph. Okay, so that it's all uniformly double spaced, except for where some silly person has put an extra space, which would be me. I did that on purpose. Um, okay. All right, so we got rid of those extra spaces, they're all gone. Now, it says increase the indent for this paragraph. So, this one right here. And I can actually click anywhere on this paragraph to increase the indent. I'm going to go up here, and there's a little arrow that says increase indent. Click. Done. Okay. Done. Tone has to be changed to heading 2. We already know that's 14 point. All right. I'm going to change appeal to heading 2. And This has to be increase in dent, so I'm going to click anywhere. There we go. All right, it's done. Down here. Okay, now we need to put in um, a page break right here. And the reason we have to do that is Works Cited um, never has, uh, never has, it's never on the same page as the document. So you have to put a page break between the Works Cited and the document. So right here at the end of this paragraph, 
we're going to go up here and do insert, break, page break. Okay. All right. I don't know what this bookmark thing is. It's driving me crazy. It's in my way. I should figure out how to get rid of it right now, but I haven't. So I'm just going to leave it there and hope that it doesn't get in my way. So I'm just going to click on Works Cited right here. Now, this Works Cited has to be in the center. Even though it doesn't say it, it should be in the center. So we're going to center it, and we're going to change it to Heading 2. There we go. Now, we want to sort this right here. And the only way we can sort it, because Google Docs doesn't have a sort feature like Microsoft Word does, so you have to add um, an extension. Now, I've already added an extension. Um, let me see if I can get rid of it so I can add it again for you. It's called Doc Tools. Okay. So um, what you're going to do is go to go to um, Extensions. You're going to go to Add-ons. You're going to get Add-ons, and what you want is um, you're going to put in Sort right here, S O R T, like this. And it should have Doc Tools. You're going to click on that, and you're going to install it. Mine says uninstall because it's already installed. <laughs> But anyway, you're going to do that doc tools. Okay, now, after it installs, it's going to ask you if it can access everything you own and change everything. It's yeah, whatever. I'm going to highlight the works cited, all three of them. Make sure they're all highlighted because it will mess up if you don't. So you're just going to highlight all three of these works cited, okay? You're going to go to the extensions. You're going to go to doc tools and you're going to sort the selection ascending. Click. Okay. And there you go. It's in alphabetical order. Yay. Okay. Now we're going to change this to hanging indent. So I'm going to highlight, it, highlight all of it again, not the works cited part of it, but the rest of it. Okay. Highlight it all again. Now I'm going to go up here to format, align and indent. And I'm going to go to indention options and special indent. There's a little pull down menu. It's really hard to see. And I'm going to do hanging and I'm going to apply. Oh, it tells me that I have to have something here. So I'm going to put zero right there and apply. Okay. So apply. Okay. Now it's in hanging indent and it's in alphabetical order. Yay. Okay. All right. I'm going to make sure all these are gone. Just check them over one more time. And I'm at the top. Now, I'm going to add something. You thought we were done. We're adding something. So right here, um, just before gut filled analysis, I'm going to hit an Enter and click right above it. And it's going to let me click above it. Here we go. Click above it. OK. okay. And I'm going to go to um, Insert. We go all the way down to the bottom, all the way. So it says Table of Contents. I'm going to choose the one with numbers. Okay, see there? And um, right here, just before gut felt analysis, I'm going to insert a page break again. So there's my break, page break. Okay, and so I just have the um, table of contents here. Now, I want to make sure that my table of contents is correct. It says that gut filled analysis starts on page one, but it doesn't. This is page one and it's not starting. So <laughs> we have to update it. So you're just going to click on it, hit this little update button, and there it is. It's done. All right. Now, um, in order to upload this into iCollege or any other LMS system, you're going to put uh, go to file. Okay. And you're going to go download. And I'm going to download it actually as a PDF so it doesn't change, so that nothing will change in the document. If I download it as a Microsoft Word, some of the formatting might change. So I want to make sure that none of it changes. I'm going to do PDF document.